We're here at Renard's Cheese in Southern Door County, where today we're going to check out their popular factory tour and learn all about the cheese making process. Tell us a little bit about the history of Renard's Cheese. It's a family owned business. My grandfather started the business in 1961. It's been in business now for 53 years. Third generation cheesemaker. My dad and my grandfather have been making cheese. Grandpa started out as a little two vat factory. Now we have over doubled in size. We wholesale throughout the whole U.S. We also do a lot of business right here in Door County in our two local shops plus a lot of the other shops through Door County. The cheese factory tours you guys are doing at Rosewood Dairy. Walk us through that in terms of what people are going to see uh, when they go to experience that tour. First you're going to find out a little bit about the history of cheese and how it's made, but then you're also going to be able to walk in and actually view cheese being made. You'll see the curds being cut, you'll see cheese being turned in the vats. You know, if you get there early enough you get to see the milk running into the vats. We have four vats of cheese going at once usually, so you'll see them each at a different level. Made the old-fashioned way, it's not automated, everything's natural, so you can see exactly how cheese is made. What makes a cheese curd squeak? It's the freshness of the cheese. It's still got the rubbery texture yet, that'll give it its squeak. It's gonna lose that after about six, seven days, okay. especially once it's cooled down. Why is some cheese yellow and why is some cheese white? Cheese is naturally white. To make it yellow, we add a natto seed uh, food coloring. It's all natural. It's more for eye appeal, the color. Different areas, some areas like white cheddar, some areas like colored, more of an American style. East Coast, still got a lot of the European heritage. They like their cheddars white. If you come to the Midwest, they like it orange. A 20,000 pound vat of milk, you get seven cups of color in that. There's not many master cheesemakers around the country, are there? When it comes to dairy, Wisconsin and cheese, Wisconsin has basically the cream of the crop. They are the only ones that have the official grading system. We're the only ones that have the Master Cheese Maker program. And it's uh, 20 years, this year was the 20th year. And there's 58 Master Cheese Makers in the state of Wisconsin. And I'm talking to one of them. Yes, you are. <laughs> we make Cheddar, Colby, Monterey Jack, Munster Brick, and Farmer's Cheese, and String Cheese. 40 to 50 types of cheese. And your, your most popular seller at the moment would be what? Cheese curds. Cheese curds? Hands down cheese curds. <laughs> Probably followed closely by string cheese. We sell a lot of our two-year white, and our flavored ones are really taking off. In terms of, um, of some of the aged products that you guys make, what, what are you doing right now for that? Our specialty is the two-year white cheddar. It's yep. a bandage-style cheese. It's something that's not out there very easily. We're one of the few people that actually make bandage-style cheddar yet in the state of Wisconsin. One thing my grandfather started when he was first doing it was the bandage-style wheels. How much cheese are you guys typically going to make in a year at Renard? I can tell you right now we're doing about 90,000 pounds of milk a day. So you're looking at 9,000 pounds of cheese a day. The winter months will slow down to about 7,500. One thing we're more concerned on is the quality, not the quantity. The majority of our milk comes from Dork County. We get a little bit from northern Kiwani County. But all the milk is local. And even the extra milk we buy in all comes from local Dork County farms. For every 10 pounds of milk, you only get about one pound of cheese on average. The other nine pounds is whey. That whey we separate the cream from. The cream we sell to Pine River Dairy. They make butter out of it. And the whey gets sold to Packerland Whey, and it's used for veal and cattle feed. So you don't waste the darn nope. thing. Everything is yeah. put to use. That's so. great. So Chris, I see this fabulous cheese tasting area here. Uh, what can people sample while they're here? We have different varieties every day out to sample. We always have our fresh curds out, and we have a lot of our flavored cheeses. John, those curds are made fresh from this morning. Still taste the squeak in them. Fresh curds daily. You're not going to find that anywhere else. Cheese curds, it's the first part of making cheddar. Mm. A lot of people like think it's a scrap after it. It's the very beginning. <laughs> That's very squeaky, but boy, you can just taste that freshness. That's really tasty. And then just some of the other ones. What do we have here? Your uh... John, you're trying our chili lime cheddar. A little spice to it, not a lot. It's not overwhelming with the hotness. And then you'll get a little um, taste of the lime afterwards. Mm -hmm. So it gives it a nice mixture together. Chris, thank you so much for an incredible tour of the Rosewood Dairy. Really appreciate it. It was a, a great experience, something people got to check out for themselves. Thanks for coming out. You bet. And uh, also for the tasting here at the location off of Highway 57, uh, a tasty stop for people to get some cheese on their way into or leave in Door County. So um, folks, you guys got to get to Door County here. Uh, I'm John Jarsh. Thanks for watching. I hope you can get out here to explore the door. Nice cheese!